Hi, I'm Paul Hobbs. I'm a winemaker based in Northern California. And today I'd like to showcase um, our cross barn Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, this particular bottling, we do two, two bottlings. This one is from the Napa Valley. Another that we do from Sonoma, Sonoma Valley. Uh, this wine is primarily sourced from vineyards from the lower part of the Napa Valley to the central part of the Napa Valley in the main regions that are known as Yantville and uh, Oak Knoll regions. And we put a lot of effort, these are a bit cooler regions and further up the valley. So we put a lot of effort into the preservation of the fruit. Uh, this has nice, lively Cabernet fruit. No herbal notes uh, or herbaceous notes um, to speak of, but there's a lot of blackberry or, and, and elements of briariness as well in the wine. Uh, in the terms of making, it's quite straightforward. I mean, in fact, we have high tech, but we actually work low tech. And so here uh, we do a pump over after night picking. The grapes are brought in, put into a, a, a fermenting vat that holds anywhere from, let's say, five to 10 ton. And these are pumped over versus punching down uh, to irrigate the cap and to extract the color and tannins. We're very particular about temperature and time in the extraction uh, so that we get the, the proper tannins and, and, the, and the proper texture in the, in the palate. Total maceration here for this wine varies a bit, but it's generally up to 25 days total contact time, meaning the entire fermentation process plus the added post-alcoholic extraction. The wine is then drained, pressed, and moved to barrels and aged for 20 months in French oak barrels. Here, again, with Cross Barn, our philosophy is not to show oak. Uh, so the barrel is used for maturation and for stabilizing the wine, but we're not really interested in extracting oak character. So for the most part, these barrels are, have been used prior and uh, the preponderance of oak has already been extracted. Uh, but the, the wood does round the wine and mature it and give it more suppleness and richness on the palate. And so um, that is sort of the philosophy behind the, the making of the wine. Again, good pull on the palate, good richness. That's what we want. And um, well, I hope you enjoy this wine as much as we do. Thank you.